Hello, welcome to Hattrick. I am Jordan Dollar coltman joined by Braden Dollar coltman and Elliot Tanti. It is our final full episode of the 2022 calendar year. Christmas time is upon us. The holidays are upon us. Next week, we will have a very special year, um, sort of a year in review. No, it's not even a year in review. It's, it's a best of the year show, but uh, we won't really be recording together on Christmas Day, but it'll come up Boxing Day. So this is our last time together, boys, for 2022. It's been a very busy year. We had the World Cup. We had the Olympics. We had a lot of hockey. We talked about all kinds of good stuff. We're going to get to that in topic two. Before we do that, though, we've got to talk soccer. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. Here's topic one. Okay. The World Cup is over, and it went out with a bang. Uh, I don't know if you're a soccer fan out there listening to this. I don't know if you've been watching the World Cup at all, but you didn't need to, you didn't need to watch anything up to this. You watch just this game, and I guarantee you, uh, you're going to appreciate the spectacle, the drama, and the excitement uh, that so many people have been captivated by for the last couple of weeks. The World Cup finale, the big final, the final match for Leon Messi, the chance for France to be back-to-back champions for the first time as a, a nation and the, only the second time in World Cup history. And it did not disappoint. Argentina came out of the gates on fire, fired up, very passionate. You could tell right from the anthem that Argentina was there for the moment. France kind of tentative, didn't get a shot in for almost an hour. And Argentina obviously getting up early, Leon Messi in the 23rd minute scores from the penalty spot. Huge goal for him. We all knew, we all know the story, you know, arguably the greatest of all time, certainly the greatest of his generation. And this is the one thing he did not have on the resume. And so this meant a lot. He gets the penalty to go and then they go up 2 nil only 10 minutes later. Uh, Di-, Di Maria scores a beautiful goal off of some great Argentinian uh, passing to get into the box and a great cross that leads to a 2 nil lead going to half. And at this point, it looks like France is just not going to show up. But don't ever count out Mr. Kelly Mbappe. Mbappe is, for me, like the McDavid of this sport. And the cool thing about watching this game was it was like watching McDavid play with Gretzky if it had happened. You've got one generation's absolutely almost the most dominant 